Hey guys, what is up, and welcome to the final episode of the Wonder Wheel Crew Mode. That's so, first game of the episode, we are playing against Tottenham, that is right. So, I think it's time to mention the fact that the wheel is no longer going to be spun. At this point, we are going to be continuing on with this career mode, and with the team it is until the end of this series. To put it simply, I feel like I've assembled pretty much the perfect lineup. And I couldn't be more happy with it at the moment, where I feel like the wheel is only going to bring unnecessary changes. So take a look at the Spurs lineup. So, Musa Sissoko is on a team that made it to the Champions League semifinals. What in the world? I'm afraid of those fullbacks, Hal Walker, Danny Rose, but... Uh, Harry Kane and Erickson are going to be the main threats for them. Uh, and for us, um, Marcelo is going to be slotting at left center back. Or, uh, Ramo, I mean, Godin, right center back. Ramos, center back. Pogba, Nangla in the middle. we got Neymar, Best, Jesus, Son, and Pele as pretty much our five up top. Let's get into this match. Let's not play stupid. And uh, let's, let's do something good with this. For Tongan. Shot taken! Oh! 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 What a strike! Oh, it's Jesus! That's out of this world! It's stunning on the half volley! It's Gabriel Jesus! And pulls a magisterial strike out of nowhere! It's Gabriel Jesus! It's otherworldly from the Brazilian maestro himself! Oh, that is superhuman from Jesus! Justifying his name! In spades! What an insane strike from Jesus! The power, the accuracy, the ferocity is simply stunning. Absolutely left me speechless. It's Jesus. I don't know what to say. It's a, I thought Pablo's goal was the best all series. This has to be the best. Ladies and gentlemen, Pogba? Oh. What a chance. It's Godin. It's Best. It's Best! Oh! 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 Oh my god! George Best has just gotten a goal of epic proportions and thunderbolts in this game. Oh my word! George Best from the edge of the area! has just pulled off a wonder strike. The audacity of that hit. We have got two main shots all game and they have just been shots to perfection. It's an amazing goal. It's just an amazing goal. Oh my word. And there we go, that's it. It's a 2-0 victory over Tottenham. That was just dominance that was incredible that was absolutely incredible all right so second match of the episode we're having the rematch versus Tottenham in the Champions League semi-final and did no changes and why in the world would it given how we played so it's a three four two one and yeah just time to get into the match However, we're going to look at the Spurs lineup, and Nkudu comes in, uh, Davies comes out, Deli Alley is still not playing. I don't understand why you wouldn't play Deli Alley. Musa Sissoko and Nkudu. And you don't have, you have Trippier also? And off. Marcelo. It's Raja. Best, best! Oh my word! It's another beautiful goal. Definitely not to the caliber of the two in the previous match, but it's a great finish from an audacious angle, and we are thrashing Tottenham. 
It's brilliant, honestly. It's brilliant. Jesus should perfectly time ball. And the goalkeeper can't stop that. Like, the angle, it's you shouldn't be able to score from that angle. It's so far into the corner. That was almost off the post and in. It's an incredible shot, and George Best has really shown he deserves a spot over Gareth Bale in the previous few games. And... It's Young Min Sun here. Bail, bail! It's four, nothing on aggregate. It's two in the game, and Gareth Bale kills off the tie against his former team. Gareth Bale, great play there, cuts around Kieran Trippier, and a great, powerful, smashing finish into the back of the net. It is two, nothing in the game, four nil on aggregate. This tie is done and there we go that is it we are in to the champions league final extremely key match it's going to determine uh the fate of the premier league so we're going to put this onto a five minute long game and hopefully we can succeed so now we jump into the finale in terms of the premier league of this series so the chelsea lineup so they're going to be running with a 3-5-2 or a 5-3-2 you got Conte, Matic, Pedro. Oh man, they're not gonna be fun to play against. They have such good options. Morata and Batshuayi on the bench. So our lineup uh, running with the 3-4-2-1. So we got George Best, Nigelon, Pogba, Neymar, Jesus. We finally got uh, both of them in there, and we shall ensure that we can achieve success. Come on, okay, it's Neymar. Come on, it's on Hyungmin. It's Min! Oh! Oh, that's such a wasted chance. And Thibaut Courtois is having the game of his life. It's headed, headed, headed! Go, 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 go! Raja Nangalan! We finally got the goal! And after a game long domination of possession, Raja Nangalan finally breaks Thibaut Courtois' resistance. A brilliant header, and from that sort of range, no matter how good the keeper is, it's simply impossible to stop. It's gonna be Sesc Fabregas. It's gonna whip this in, whip this in away. Okay, now we could get a counter attacking chance. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. It's Jesus here. It's Nigelon. Song Hyung Min! And that is it! It's a brilliant counter attacking goal, and we have clinched the Premier League title. Brilliant there, Nangalon, clutch under pressure, and Sun Young Min with a quality finish into the corner there. Didn't want to do any curve or anything, I was really nervous, but there we go. It's a great finish, and Song Hyun Min proves his quality. Shot! Taken, saved. Oh no, it's Willian, and our goal is threatened in the final moments. Oh, now it's Coutinho. Oh my, no, 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 Coutinho. Coutinho, no, no. It's Moses now. What a ball! It's Jesus. It's Jesus clinches it again. It's Gabriel Jesus, and we have scored a clinching goal in the 89th minute. A brilliant ball from Coutinho, and Gabriel Jesus was all alone, took a quality first touch, and it's a brilliant finish. Thibaut Courtois has been such an unfortunate lad this game. Brilliant, yet simply could not have enough. We are leading 3-1, and we are on the verge of something truly special. And there we go! We have won the Premier League title! Of course, the future of the series, I see it as a ending off series of FIFA, where I believe the series will return next year in July, but it's not going to be there uh, for the first couple months of FIFA. 
So yeah, it's time now for the Premier League trophy to be lifted. And it's going to be lifted by a true captain. Sergio Ramos lifts the Premier League trophy for Newcastle United. And that is it. It is the end of our journey in the Premier League. We finish on top due to likely goal difference. And there we go. Sergio Ramos came in for the last few games has been simply an incredible late season addition. An absolutely broken card who's a joy to use in the game. So in the Champions League final, we are facing, of course, Real Madrid. So, very pleased with that. However, we must go for higher ambition, and that is what we are doing in attempting to win a magical treble, which we failed to do in the Yu-Gi-Oh! career mode. So let's take a look at the two teams. So firstly, our lineup, uh, unchanged from the previous match. Uh, best, while not perfect, was very solid, and I'm happy with the options we have on the bench. So 3-4-2-1 is the lineup for us. Real Madrid, however, are going to be going along and setting up in a 4-3-3 formation. Madra, Casemiro, Asensio, Ronaldo, Benzema, Vasquez. Uh, very interesting formation, honestly. Um, I am curious to see how this will work for us, as it's not going to be easy with the uh, men that are packed into uh, the midfield of Real Madrid. Headed! Oh! Oh, Pele has missed two golden chances. That's going to be Ramos. Okay, wins it in the air. Gonna hit it over now. Jesus is going to send it in to George Best. George Best now at one on Nacho Fernandez. Okay, great ball to Jesus. Okay, it's headed, headed, headed. Goal! It's Pele off the bar and in. And our pressure has finally been justified. With a great finish there, it's a huge goal from the Brazilian legend, and it's a brilliant cross from Gabriel Jesus. We lead 1-0, 38 minutes into this match. So good counter, brilliant ball to Jesus, and then what a header from Pele there, and put it into the back of the net. 1-0 lead. It's Coutinho, Bale! And there we go! We've won the Champions League! And despite some shocking finishing, we have managed to put it away. The 38th minute Pele glory header does it again. And Pele the lad has managed to win us the Champions League and we have achieved the treble. So, it is simply put, time to do one thing and one thing only. It is time of course to take a look at us lifting the Champions League trophy. Sergio Ramos lifts the trophy for Newcastle United. The Champions League trophy, Champions League glory is ours. The treble is ours. And it is a landmark moment for the series. That's it. What a way to end it off. And that's it, and that's it for the series. So, uh, yet again, we absolutely dominated Real Madrid. Um, simply going to a possession-style base to play was absolutely huge for us. Uh, we had a very hard route to the final. Um, but, same time, we've done it. And I'm going to take a little bit of a quicker look at the players than I did in the end of the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Um, we'll mention, though, some players, some specifics, and... Uh, some of my favorite moments. So yeah, uh, taking a look at the squad report, obviously uh, Butland was key for us. He played in so many games. He doesn't show in the save, but he was brilliant. So, Godin, late addition, very good. Uh, Ramos, as I already said, I explained enough about him. He is unstoppable. Marcello, unnoticeable yet brilliant. Best, I enjoyed his card. He was very good. Uh, I think Wea was a bit better, but I still feel like George Best replaced his production. Rajan Angolan, once he came in, we became an elite team. Brilliant from him, and he's broken. That card is broken on the game. Pogba, another player whose card is broken. He's a ridiculous player. Five-star skills, strength, speed. An unstoppable player. Neymar, brilliant. Okay, honestly. Uh, I do say brilliant because he has the potential to be brilliant, but doesn't often put that away. Jesus, however, seemingly lower-rated, yet... I'd have to say, uh, the best striker in all of FIFA. No doubt. 
Just that's really all I can say. Young Min Sun, brilliant, 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 a stunning player, a world class player, and him and Jesus were gods on Ultimate Team this year. Pele, oh my word, using him in this game, it should not be allowed. Like you should not be able to create Pele. He is that good. Semedo, a solid right back, could be a little stronger though. Um, Griezmann is solid, Coutinho is solid, um, Bale was okay. Uh, obviously some of these depth players got used a lot more, and they were very solid in the roles they did. Pereira was very solid right back, but of course, switching to three in the back meant he was likely to get less time. Rabio was meh, and was I was very glad to get some new center midfielders, and Mar Marquinhos was brilliant to the last point of the season when he got replaced by Ramos. Um, obviously a bunch of other players. Tovan was actually very solid when we played. Uh, we got Gaspar, okay. Um, Otamendi, just plain depth defender. Antonio was good when he was needed. Yeah, I've gone through pretty much all the players in this team. And for the final time of FIFA 17, I would like to thank you guys for watching this episode of the Wonder Real Crew Mode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to drop a sub as FIFA 18 is coming up and I have a ton of content. I will be revealing that in a video very soon. But yeah, uh, thank I hope you guys enjoyed this whole entire series. And I shall see you guys later. Peace!